Hello everybody, my name is Light of Hand and today I'll be doing an unboxing for the Asylum Demon expansion for Dark Souls the board game. Now guys, just like Dark Souls the board game, this is quite a fat box. Um, especially for an expansion. But I'm gonna open up the I'm gonna open this up. Let's get this from over here. I'm gonna be honest guys, I still haven't got around to playing Dark Souls. I own a lot. I've also got a vote at the end of the video from some of the other expansions I've got. So yeah, let's just open this up and well, I'm gonna read the back bit. I've read it twice already, so hopefully my bad reading isn't as bad as it normally is. Also, I like the way they've got these boxes set up. So okay, so let's just zoom in up the top bit here. As you pace the halls and corridors of the Undead Asylum, it can be found to be a lonely and quite a quiet place, morbid and uninviting. Here dwells a demon capable of lethal rage, its mind still ruled by the violent uh, thoughts. Beware this foe, for all that you will fight stronger, for all that you will fight strong stronger, more cunning and agile opponents, complacency will hasten to your end at the hands all the same. Can you triumph over this asylum demon or will your corpse soon be another to roam the as asylum with the hollow? So I really do kind of like that sort of like um, stuff. like. Like with the folklore expansion, I really enjoyed the. Okay, oh, I thought for a minute there's going to be a problem there. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just opening this up here now. Let's zoom back out for a second. And now I'm going to just quickly. I do like this. I do like the look of this box. I like what they've done. To me, that looks good. A nice little rule set. Now, I'm going to be honest, don't know. I don't, I've played. Dark Souls. I've actually got some videos of me playing Dark Souls as well. Shows you what you get on the inside. Um, set up. Uh, set up after the main boss. Okay. So some missions here. Don't want to show too much, otherwise I might get myself into trouble. So I'm not going to do too much, but I'd like to see what the main Asylum Demons stats are because if I'm being honest. I'd like to, I know, I really am looking forward to maybe facing him. So there's some barrels. There's his dial. Okay, so this looks like it's a, yeah, it is. So let's move this back for a second. Oh, okay, so the demon itself looks like it might need to be assembled. That's interesting, because you didn't have to do that with the other games. Is it two-sided? Oh, it is two-sided. Well, this is interesting. It's quite a large tile. I'm trying not to ruin anything as I'm doing this. So let's put this down for a second and let's try and actually I'm gonna to need to move. I'm going to need to move the this out of the way for a second. And now I need to move these out of the way for a second too. Oops. So you've got this side, which I'm assuming is when you fight the asylum demon. Because I think there's two types in this set. Then you turn it over and you've got a more grotty looking, oops, another area. Now this might even be the lead up to fighting him. That little hall bit just before. This is going to be interesting. Just want to remind you again, guys, I do have a vote at the end of the video. Okay, so there are some cards here. Now I don't want to look at everything that's here. I also did an unboxing for the, uh, oh good, it's a nice easy card sort of thing to open. Okay, so there's the actual Asylum Demon. There's Asylum Demon, Asylum Demon, obviously for different levels I'm assuming. Um, let's see some of his moves. I'm not going to show everything, I'm going to go quite fast when I do this. And Stray Demon. Okay, so that interests me as well. So there's a few of them. And again, that has its own moves, which seems to be quite a few more. Again, I don't want to show too much, guys, because I don't really get in trouble. Now, you've also got these little cards here. You've also got your nice little 
plastic bits to help put these bits. I'm liking this guys because I don't know if you've watched my actual unboxing, but I had a terrible moment where um, I had stuff missing. This time things seem to be good. Okay, so again you've got some equipment loot. That's stuff I'm assuming is just for him. So if you defeat him and stuff like that. There's quite a lot here. I want to read through the rules because I would like to play a game where this is the starting boss. You know, you might need to do a little bit, but then you face him and some titania. This is cool. Also, guys, would someone be very nice to sh um, send me... There's quite a few of these things here. There doesn't seem to be, like, apart from this demon hammer. But is that for him, just him, or is it the pilgrim's big key? And so on. Because someone sent me the link for the errata because I want to try and play this. Now let's have a look at the model. I'm not sure I actually want to take out the, the whole thing here, but, uh, but I am very much... Is it taped? Yeah, it is. I just need to cut the tape that's along the side. So I should have actually brought my standing knife or modelling knife down with me, but I didn't. I just brought my pliers. Let's take that off. Let me go on that side. Is there another tape? Yeah, there is. Sorry about that. I don't want to scratch the board, so I'm now going to lift this. <laughs> There's me thinking this is all going to be lovely and easy. What I can see from the model, some people complain saying the, the model not looking that great. I don't think so. I think this looks bloody good. Um, okay, so once it lets me in, that is. Okay, so you've got this tail. Well, it looks like it's something you. Oh, good. It's a nice little just push in sort of block. Sorry about the time and how long it took me there. Let's zoom in, zoom out. Yeah, so that kind of alienly looking sort of tail to me, if I'm being honest. Okay, but now we've got the big guy himself. That's quite, he actually, that's quite a heavy model. So let's zoom in. Let's get my hand behind it. I like it. It looks great. Maybe a little warped in on there. But otherwise, this, this looks good. This really looks good. Oh yeah, also guys, this is um, made by Steamforge. Mustn't forget that. You must always remember the company who makes these things. No, that does look good. I'm going to, just for a little longer, I'm just going to show, show this sort of detail. Now that's nice. That looks really, really cool. Nice sort of like, so straight away, that, I'm not going to push it in guys, otherwise I'm, I might have a hard time getting it back out and fitting it back in the box. That will, that goes into there and then comes out of there. So yeah, let's put that into there and let's put this back over here. So guys, I've got some other expansions as well. So let me know in the comments which ones you'd like me to do. Now I'm going to show you which ones I've got. I've got the Guardian Dragon expansion. Hopefully I'm not going to scratch anything, I'm trying to be careful here. I've also got the I've got the old Iron King expansion. Let's move that over there. I've got quite a few here if I'm being honest guys. I've got the Dark Dark Root expansion. I have the Four Kings expansion. I have the Gripping Demon expansion, uh, Gri Gripping Dragon expansion. <laughs> Great, I'm running out of room here, aren't I? And the very last but least, I have the Black Dragon. I can't even pronounce this, so I'm going to show you. Expansion. Now let me know in the comments down below, guys, which one you'd like me to do. Have you had any experience of playing with the uh, Silent Demon? Let me know in the comments down below. Again, can someone please send me the link to the um, Arata? Because, as I said, I'd like to give this a go at some point. I never got round to actually play it because I was a bit bitter at the time. I'm not going to lie, I was quite bitter at the time because I didn't get, um, because of what went wrong with my unboxing. 
um, didn't leave me too pleased if I'm being honest. Okay, anyway guys, if you've liked this video, please click like. If you'd like to subscribe, please do. Ladies and gentlemen, I would much appreciate it if you would also tell me where the link. I'd also like it if someone would vote and tell me what the next, uh, not my next unboxing, but my next um, Dark Souls video unboxing, which I will try to get done this weekend, would like which one they would like it to be. And also, guys, tell me of your own experiences of playing the first game. I've um, I've had very mixed reviews. And my mate Mike, who does Ready Steady Play, he he's actually done some playthroughs. Um, I'm sure he he might even do some playthroughs with this one, if I'm being honest. Um, maybe because this is actually the demon, the first monster I would love to face. Um, if I'm being honest. Okay, so it's gone away quickly, which is nice. Um. So yeah, let's put this all away. So as again, as I was saying guys, if you like this, please click like, please comment, please subscribe and hit that notifications. But I do warn you, I do computer games too, and other games. I haven't done any um, Let's Play videos due to a certain pet next to me. Anyway guys, as I said, please let me know. Oh, was you looking forward to even getting this? Are you thinking about getting it yourself? I'm going to try and see if there's like a, an early stage to fight him because he does interest it does interest me because I did play Dark Souls 1 2 and 3 not completed any of them. Well, I think the furthest I got in any of them was 3. One I I didn't get very far at all. Um I'm not going to lie on that. I tried to replay it a little while ago and some problems happened so yeah. I got drunk and continued playing uh, my let uh, my video on. Anyway, I hope you go having a good day and goodbye.